Hello everyone, welcome back to the Proving Grounds. Here we are in a nice setting to talk about bad and unfortunate news, exactly, sadly. So, we have another broken limited fiscal release. Oh, wonderful. So, lucky for me, as far as we know so far, it's only the Switch. But of course, for the people who bought the Switch version, that sucks for them. And that's why we're addressing it now, especially since it's not getting traction. And I think it's just as important as any other release for it to be fixed in white with customers. And we're going to talk about this. So, today I'm going to do something a little different. We're going to actually show off some of that stuff uh, over here. Don't mind me, you know, I'm, I'm seeing a reverse thing, so don't mind me. So, I gotta remember this side. So, over here, over here, you should be able to see our conversations here with uh, with uh, about the subject matter. So, Nintendo Resolves is the one who brought up about this, about uh, originally getting reports about Neon City Widers getting bugs. So, essentially, the original report was that beyond 20%, your save data would basically get corrupted. And this person tested it on multiple versions and that there was no update available at all on this. At all. Which is just kind of like, what the fuck? So, they've gotten video evidence that showed this. And then later, it came out that even attempting to beat the game without quitting, like doing it in 1-1, they ran into a door that could not be triggered to be open and it was confusing on whether this was uh whether this was a uh, case of um, trigger error like maybe there's a way around it that but as far as we could tell uh from interactions with the dev it ended up being not the case now of course uh let's see let's go over the stuff here so uh this these were messages from the dev that the personal ones Nintendo Revisions got. And yeah, uh, and these are about the door. Yeah, that definitely shouldn't happen. I'm checking the code right now to see what's going on. And I'll test it out in the dev kit to make sure everything is working as intended. Come back with some feedback. Jeez, I just found out what happened. Looks like the optimized code we added deactivated the door instance, and when the it checks it's happening after pressing any of the switches, the door actually doesn't exist, so opening the the opening code can't run. So when they did some additional optimizing for the Switch version, it caused it a door's trigger to essentially not work anymore, thus making the game uncompletable. So this made it 100% sure that there was no way to actually beat this game. Uh, let's see. And yeah, and Jess here is the person that runs uh, Nintendo Revisions. And they always do very lovely work. If you're always looking for uh, updated cartridges with updates in that, I definitely recommend checking them out. They are a very important resource that works with Desert Plays. But going on, uh, they go, thanks for your efforts. And we just sent an email. Now, I'm assuming this is the person who originally reported all this, I'm assuming. To thank him and let him know that sadly there's no walk around for this issue. Again, conforming that this is a game-breaking bug that cannot be adjusted. and uh, But waiting for the update and to offer him as a token of appreciation to include him into the game as a ghost in the cemetery. Nice. That's actually a very nice, rewarding thing to do. It looks like in an attempt of improving the experience for players, we ended up missing one line that caused an issue. Ironically, if we have left the game as it was, it would have never happened. We're still trying to figure out the crash bug when continuing from a saved game, but it's a hard one. So they're looking also into that because there is footage of that happening. Now, I, I, I have not heard of anyone else showing evidence of the crashing bug thing. There has not appeared to be a lot of people playing this game, sadly. So there was a very limited information like when this first started i actually tried to do some google research and i could not find anyone really talking about it i did even look at switch reviews and could not find mention of it now uh what i'm assuming is 
um, the Switch reviews will probably prior to this optimizing update they did, I'm assuming, which hints why they exist without mentioning it. That That's my as, as, assumption on it. So, going on, going on, boom, 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 boom. So, uh, last time we brought up Neo City Wilds had game-breaking bugs. Josh told us it was a distributed title and therefore they couldn't do much. Now it's a number to lease and they still, we still need to contact devs. Now this is about the Gargoyles release. So apparently uh, Gargoyles has gone uh, figured out with having a possible game-breaking bug. Now um, I'm not sure if there's a walk-around. I'm still uh, waiting to see more research on that subject now as I was with this subject now. So uh, we'll st I'm still waiting to see a little bit more evidence or proof and things. Uh, there is video evidence showing the goggles thing has problem. And that will be its own video uh, if uh, again. Yeah. But I wanted to show this in relation to this because the the goggles thing is a number to lease. And they claim that... Neon City of Wilds is a distributed title. And regardless of either of those, it's a limited one game released on your fucking website. That's like Walmart saying, oh, that's not a great value product, so we're not responsible even though you buy that at our store. But anyway, let's go over Josh's from Limited One Games Reply to this. Now, anyone who's a long-term Limited One person knows uh, that the company was ran by two people, Doug and Josh. And Doug basically sold out and uh and not by sold out i mean he he's out of the game he's not part of the company anymore he he sold his half and got out so josh is basically by himself in regards but anyway we do our best as a publisher to ensure that every release contains the latest patch of the time of production. We test our releases to the best of our ability, but things will be missed. Unfortunately, we did not encounter any game-breaking bugs while testing the Neo Seal Widers. Now, here's the important thing. And this is the also be fair to Josh. There, there is a very limited pool of people we're getting data from. We're, now, the dev, as we said, the dev themselves are confirming that there is no walk-around. So, the door thing, at least, has no walk-around. So, this is an interesting statement that makes me wonder that either A, somehow they didn't test the white build when doing their playthrough, or B, they just... You know, only played like 10 minutes like a, a Kotaku reviewer and then called it a day. And like, this is something that continuously getting annoying with a lot of this, to be honest. So, I would recommend we're pulling all the bugs, details directly to the developers so it can be addressed in a patch. A physical repressing of the game is extremely unlikely, but our support team would be happy to allow a return and refund in this situation. More like, you should refund period period this is a company that strives on the physical forever shit and again just like doom they'll make they're trying to make excuses and weasel out of this shit this is unacceptable for a company that strives like they'll they'll say up and down all they care about physical and, and you know archiving and preserving and shit and then this happens and then they'll come up with every excuse possible to get out of it and they did that with doom and there was shitloads of outcry with doom and i was proud that everyone got them to do that and i said in a lot of these videos we have to stick together and keep this up these companies need to be responsible for this shit and people are sitting back and letting josh do this to neon city widers his excuse is bullshit, in my opinion. He's saying, like, he's like there as the Walmart CEO saying, like, oh, you bought a non great value product. That's not our responsibility, even though we distributed it and it was on sale on our website. We are not responsible. Look, I don't know what your contracts have. You need to either make your contract make the dev fucking responsible or you be responsible. 
If I mean, if the contract says the dev is responsible for replacing and shit, that's one thing. You you show that, then okay, your agreement was the devs responsible. So the dev agreed to be responsible. We need to go to the dev then. But you're not showing any of that. You released this game. You printed this game. And unless you show otherwise, you're responsible for this game regardless of whatever the fuck you say. I know this isn't ideal, and I apologize that we don't have a better solution on this one. That doesn't make sense. You literally replaced everyone's Doom copies. But be sure that I fully understand your concerns. With excuses, we've been doing a number of things internally over the last year that will help prevent further uh, future situations like this. I would hope so. You would think the whole Doom thing would have been a lesson learned. I would imagine Doom costed a lot on their pocketbooks. And I get that. I've said that over and over again. I get that. This is expensive. This isn't a cheap endeavor to fix. But you need to do the right thing. You need, and I've said again and again in these situations, you need to do the right thing to your customers. I might not be affected. The PS4 version, I tested the 20% bug thing. I got to like 26%, 25 or something. I got over 20%. I tested... 20 and beyond a little and I did not get the corruption issue now the door thing that I haven't gotten to I need to actually try to beat the game to figure that one out which I'm playing other stuff but I might look that in future but I did co help confirm that the builds of the physical uh, switch and PS4 are completely different numbers so it is very unlikely because uh, like the dev said here it was a performance patch code for the Switch version. So uh, it seems like this is a specifically issue to the Switch. But we haven't... To be fair, we haven't confirmed the door thing for the PS4 though. As far as I know, nobody has confirmed that one yet. So that can still be in the, up in the air. But as far as we know, this is basically... You know, this is confirmed for Switch for sure though. And like, this is inexcusable. This is being irresponsible and shitty. Like, you get crap loads of money from people and shit this is shitty and continues to hurt your reputation there's a reason people dunk and make fun of limited one games as being the ea of limited games now like because you you act like it this is just a but like this is shit we would hear from like ea look john like, I loved the Josh and Doug in the old indie-ish days of Limited One games. They loved talking to us. I loved when Doug would actually listen to recommendations. Like, you know, I brought up Shantae and got them to talk to each other. Sure, that would have probably happened with anyone eventually. But I got that discussion to happen because they they said they tried to reach out to them they didn't get a reply and when i added them on a tweet with a viewer and they replied to each other saying hey reach us out here and we'll talk and bam we got shante stuff in that limited one does do good stuff but shit like this makes me not look forward to some of that good stuff because it might end up like a piece of shit I mean, if a AAA game like Doom's release, when people literally told them about that problem when it got announced, and they said that will be fixed, and it didn't get fixed, and then they like, oh, I'm sorry, just patch the game, and everyone's pissed because we told you about it. I don't know who you're having testing. Like, I really wish, like, they would work with Desert Plays, honestly. Like, Desert Plays, like does this shit we have people who have different schedules and they're like you know i kind of do my own thing but i submit my stuff with them those people who are devoted to doing the newest releases and shit and i'm sure somebody would be quite willing if you sent them a copy they would go through the fucking entirety of the game for you and that i'm sure somebody in the team would love to do that but you don't like i'm I don't know for sure, but this, considering the dev shows and their coding that this shouldn't be beatable, this means this is either somehow some weird shenanigans rather than beat the game, or they didn't finish the game. And I'm, I hate that with reviews, and this kind of shit is a pawn. Like, I understand it's time consuming, but you telling me you can't fucking pay someone 
to fucking just play through the game. Like, it, it's just, I don't understand why it's so complicated. It's that this whole, we're a small indie game company in that is a bunch of bullshit. You are the largest limited one company out of all the limited one companies. This is inexcusable behavior. And like I said, now, now we got this shit with Gargoyles. See, if we go with Nintendo Resolves, we can see the newer posts talking about Gargoyles. And they show off where the game is just resetting to the beginning of the game at this section. Now, I think they were saying it was only in the retro mode. I'm not 100% sure on all the information on this. Like I said, this was, uh, this is just recently. So I'm still waiting for more information me. But, um, yeah, so, like here, you know, the orders were placed back in October. The game was released October 19th digitally. Like, shouldn't, like, this kind of thing have been figured out way before, like... <laughs> You think they would take the opportunity? Let's see. There's a fundamental difference between hardware and software. And if someone wants to buy a physical copy with full knowledge, the game has bugs. And, like, we don't have the knowledge that the game had bugs. Pre-orders came out before it even was released. Like, it's different being told, hey, this has a... And that's something Special Resolve Games did do with, like, Gato Robato. Like, after... They, uh, you know, that whole thing started. Uh, they did put on the page that it did have a game-breaking bug. Though I think they did it in a very, like, small parentheses kind of style thing. Like, on the side or something. I can't quite remember, but I do remember it was on there. But, yeah. Um, so, Josh has said this is going to be the responsibility of the company that did it, Empty Clip, since they were devs. And having the broken game peers to be just fine. This is a scenario, apparently. Which, so, you know, they said, Neon C, distributed title, we're not responsible. Now we're at a numbered title, we're not responsible. How about get some responsibility? This shit, you're a bunch of liars saying shit, you care about physical leases, and then you don't fix when you fuck up, okay? I admit, fuck ups happen. And, you know, Strictly Limited Games is still, so far, the only company to truly fucking fix a fuck-up without having to cause a giant drama fucking shit show to get them to fix it. Because this happened with Doom, this happened with Gato Lobato, where we had to store up a bunch of shit. Hell Pie kinda had to store up a little. Be Fair, Super Whale Games, I think, was maybe the second best to handle the situation. Special Resolves and Limited One Games handled those quite awful. S Super Whale Games were, basically did a better job than uh, Special Resolves by saying, we are talking about all options here and stuff. They were saying, you know, about the patch stuff, but they were, they were throwing out there that we are looking at options and we are in discussions. And I think that kind of thing was a point to put out there. Obviously, having a, we're going to make this bell and that right there at the beginning would have been bell, but I will say it was a bell response than, than uh, special resolves. But, yeah. This is, this is unsatisfactory. I am going to continuously bring up Neon City, uh, City Widers. I, I sadly do feel like at this way, if, if basically Outcry doesn't stop building up, it is going to get buried and they're going to get away with uh, selling this broken game. And they shouldn't. They shouldn't. And I hope Gargoyles doesn't either. Now, like I said, the Gargoyles situation is still being researched some. But I believe... Let's see. Yeah, see, this involves the original WOM version of the game. So this is happening in retro mode then. This is the remaster in retro mode. So, apparently, this is happening in retro mode. So, I don't know if it's 100%. Uh, yeah, so the Wii Master works fine. But the, the retro mode, I don't know if it's happening 100% or if it's random. 
see this has a code three times so I look forward to seeing some more information on that but obviously on one hand you could argue well just go to fucking Wii Master mode and play the game there now I don't know if this game allows you to flip flop between the two like if you can pause it and just switch to Wii Master mode do the section then swap back I don't know if that's an option this is a bit of an argumentative one. If you can't, basically, if you can only select at the beginning and go through the game that way, I feel like it is more justifiable that this needs fixed. If you can just swap the Wii Master, go through that, and then swap back to Retro, maybe a little bit more argumentative that might just be, uh, like, deal with it. But, like, if you can only swap at the beginning and you have to go through the whole game in that mode, and... This happens 100% in retro mode. I do feel like there is a... Because the point of retro mode is to, well, experience the original game, isn't it? So it seems kind of weird to advertise, you know, heavily with the retro mode and everything. And a lot of people say that Wii Master one, I hold a lot of sound effects and things. Are pretty good in it anyway, so it's, uh, yeah, it's it's really disheartening honestly to hear about this and again that they're trying to sweep it under the bug uh, the, the bug not the bug the bug and i i feel like people really need to take this more seriously i think we need to really look at ourselves and be like we need to hold limited one games accountable for this 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 is not acceptable this isn't acceptable it's not and we really should be addressing this but me and Jess have been really the only people really bringing up Neon, uh, Neon City Riders. And as soon as we get a little bit more information on Gargoyles, I will likely be making a Gargoyles is Broken video as well. <laughs> Probably down the road after a few weeks of seeing what kind of more information uh, crops up about it. But yes, this, this shit is unacceptable. This is not good. This should not be the case or the standard with limited companies. You know, for years, AAA companies and shit have gone away with doing stupid shit like this. But the thing is, so the thing is here, you know, limited one and that, you know, they, they, they promised these like really, these, <laughs> they have a bigger focus on wanting to care about physical releases and preserving that they'll they'll preach that high heaven on twitter but then when shit like this happens oh no 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 so i want to give again credit to strictly limited games for quickly addressing those uh what what was that game it was like bullet something i bought the ps4 version it was a uh switch issue only on that uh, the, a lot of switch problems, right? But I, I really wish these companies would fucking walk bail on this shit. You know, we literally have a community now that tests this shit. I think it would be very lovely if they would actually take advantage. Like, they literally have, like... Let me put it this way. The corporations, they want to save money and stuff. Let's be honest. Whether you want to say they're greedy or just trying to be smart with money or whatever, they want to save money. We literally have a community of people that are fucking playing through these games. For nothing except for the fucking game. And most of the time, it's out of our own pockets. We recently started getting review copies from several lovely companies. And I got two of them. I'm still going through my second one. I'm near the end of it. But I'm sure some of the younger ones or the ones that have a lot more time than I do... Because it's a little bit of a slow process for me. Because, you know, I have a full-time job and stuff. But those some of them in our community, they go through the fucking AAA shit that are brand new. They go, like, what? Some of them going through the new Yakuza game right now. now. But, I mean, like, they they go through this shit. Like, I, it's amazing to me sometimes how quickly they sometimes go through some of this stuff. But... I'm sure somebody in the team would be, uh, multiple people would be probably delighted to try and help out on testing this shit. If you would just send them a fucking copy. And that, that would be it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have to fucking pay them money or anything. And even if you did have to pay money, like, 
most of these companies could fucking afford it. Like, I mean, be like, here, here's a hundred bucks. Play through a fucking game we're going to give to you. Like, most people in the gaming community would be like, hot dog, I'm being paid a hundred dollars to play through a game? I'll do it. Like, like a hundred dollars wouldn't be a fucking hard fucking thing to do. Like, it's it just... It confuses me why these companies have this problem. It really does. You know, like, after the last few, you would think, like, and it's something I've brought up before, like, you know, that, like, how are these companies addressing these problems, these concerns of ensuring these games are playable and beatable? I mean, you know, it's one thing to have a bug you can walk around with that's minor, and it's another to have one that's almost constant or 100% constant. And it's just... Yeah. It, it, it just sucks when that happens. It just does. It does, it does, it does. But what can you do? What can you do? Anyway, though, I think that's everything we got to go over right now. Neon City Widows is 100% conform broken on the on the on the on on the switch now um i can't remember if it was on discord or if it was let me look here i can't remember if it, i think it was on discord and not uh let's see let me double ah yes here uh, I did get another, uh, and I forgot to show this off, but I'll just read it. Uh, Special Resolve says, At the very least, I can confirm personally that the dev of Neon City is trying to make things like. They are working on fixes, and we have communicated a lot on Discord. And he has told me he will look into getting a Wii point. In this scenario, I've gotten nothing. So, the dev is looking into a Wii point. Now, how that's going to work, whether it's going to be through limited one games or out of their own uh, cash, don't know. But at this scenario, we don't get any more information on that. So I will try to keep that scenario uh, updated as well. But, yeah, as of now, uh, that's pretty much the last thing I'm aware of, at least. Uh, spe uh, Switch was all... Uh, sw Switch Revisions has been the one mostly dealing with this problem with that. So, um, if you do have further questions about that, uh, I do definitely recommend um, looking into uh, asking them if you want more information about this. Now, uh, closing. Switch version is 100% conformed affected. PS4 version, not 100% uh, conformed. 20% save corruption I have confirmed myself that it at least did not affect me. So, I can save after 20% and it works. The door thing, I don't know about because that's somewhere in the game. I'm not even sure what specific door that is. So, I would have to play through the game. I will probably look forward to probably trying to do that to ensure the PS4 version isn't affected. But, like I said, from what I'm understanding, this was a Switch-only update thing. So... It, as far as I can understand, it seems like it is definitely likely the Switch version only being affected. But, as far as I know, nobody has actually tested the PS4, or at least has shown confirmation of the PS4 version not being affected yet. So, that one could very smallly be up in the air, but probably not likely. Anyway, though, if you have any questions or anything, or want any update information for me on this, because sometimes I am a little slow at getting a... A, 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 a thing down posted to that I tried to keep informed on on the stats of these kind of things but uh, if you want any information or if you got any information you wish to share about the subject matter because more information and research on it is of course always helpful but if you got any questions or anything please feel free to leave a comment down below we would be delighted for more information if you have any and we will try to keep you updated on it but that is as of the situation of now, Josh is being hands off and the dev is saying they will be looking into a wee point. More information, hopefully, to come soon. Until next time, thank you for joining me here at the Proving Ground in uh, the Neon District. 
until next time, I'll see you out there in the Ethernet.